Hallelujah. How's it going, guys? My name is Blessius. Clickbait. Listen, it has a bad meaning to it because people take it a little too far. But since the history of basically the news and trying to get people to watch TV, people have been clickbaiting. From wrestling matches to news stories in the 1800s, all the way to Logan Paul. I've been doing a series where I go through and try to help people with content creation that I wish I would have got back when I was starting out. And this is all brought to you by Elgato Gaming. Ever since I started, I've been using Elgato products. Now I am so happy that they are sponsoring this video series where I get to help you guys and they get to help me make this content for you guys. So big shout out to you, Elgato. So yeah, let's get to this clickbaiting. Now, I use Photoshop and I've always been using Photoshop, but if you're looking for alternatives, there is GIMP out there, which is free, and Adobe Photoshop Elements. That's what I actually first started to learn on a way long time ago when I was working in radio and making headers for that. But no, I graduated and this is Photoshop right here. And these are some recent files. This is for an upcoming uh, video up here, which I'm very excited about. I actually didn't make this one. This was drawn by the lovely Ash. You can find all of her stuff down in the description. So most people know me for my Destiny 2 videos, and this is probably one of the most simplistic things that I can ever show you. All this is, is a weapon that I just cut out. And then what I did is I put out an outer glow that basically has no range to it. So what it is, is it makes it look like it's just a uh, outline. Now the reason why I didn't use a stroke on this bad boy is because sometimes strokes just look a little wonky on it. So I just, Boop, boop, right there. And the drop shadow, I just have it so like, it's a little, it, I try to make it look as natural as I could. Then over here, I have this effect where it's like dots. I have some hue and brightness to make uh, this background pop. Now the one thing that a lot of people don't know is you can actually add hue and brightness to things. So say right now, this is how a gun comes from a game. If you come right here, you can actually add some things to it. Right here, hue and saturation and also brightness and contrast. Now depending on your keyboard, I'm, I'm, I use a Mac for this, so if I option click down, it attaches solely to this image and then you can actually sway the contrast all the way up and down so for weapons in games i usually bring the contrast really high up but also the brightness high up that way it kind of pops and then give it just a little bit of saturation and that's basically where we had that now my background i do have it uh it's technically purple to begin with but for different weapons i'll do things that kind of just are the opposite color so opposite of red I don't know, technically it's blue, but I thought that green really popped on that. And you can kind of just have a little thing up here and just go through and it can kind of just do that. For my Destiny 2 videos, when it comes to weapons, I feel like the best thing I can do is just throw up a simple thing that says, oh, you see the title already, boom, you're gonna probably look at that. But again, clickbait goes down the rabbit hole and you're wanting to see the good stuff the good stuff to help you get them clicks so let's just clear this out we'll have this purple base all right so what's your video of um let's get away from video games let's um let's get into the real world all right so um i'm googling myself real quick to get a nice picture of me um you know what Let's use this. Let's, let's use this picture. We'll bring it in. All right, it's in Photoshop. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this over here. And what this does is it's the easiest thing. You kind of just tell it where your face is or your object is that you need. And it kind of just detects that and try to make everything nice and perfect. You can zoom. And now all you gotta do is copy, go over to your thumbnail thing. Uh, all my thumbnails are 1080p. All right, so we have this big image up here. You know what? I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do with this. We're just going to kind of go over here. We have an Overwatch loot box, and we're just going to easily just crop everything ready to go. Everything is highlighted that we need from this, and poop. 
there it is so i'm gonna do one other thing to kind of extenuate this uh, i'm gonna just copy the rest of the image behind it make sure it's on top of each other just perfectly and now i'm gonna select everything and drag it up to be really big and hopefully can take most of the image now we have a little bit of this area over here which I can fix in two ways what I'm gonna do is kind of just be a little cheap so I'm just gonna take this tool that allows me just to kind of smudge I believe it's called the smudge tool and if done right you can't even tell but all you gotta do is keep it straight a little bit and boom you can't really tell again you could probably tell a little bit better if my head wasn't in the way but now we're gonna go to the loot box and we're gonna put some outer glow onto it now with the gun we had outer glow that was so thick to it it didn't really look like a glow but now we're gonna actually make it kind of pop so there's that so from here I think what I'm gonna do is just put a white outer glow behind me and then from here we're gonna select a new layer and you just go down by the trash can and I also have a little thing selected over here a little gradient overlay I'm just gonna make this a little bright and right there you see it's kind of really black behind me it's gonna bring it down a little bit the opacity so you can kind of see through it but it makes it a little bit more poppy out here and I'm just gonna put a little drop shadow behind me for a little bit more drama and now I think from here we need to add some text all right we got some text over here and uh, make sure that I uh, don't misspell anything because I don't know what loot boxes are but as soon as you can get the text right loot boxes right there bless loves loot boxes that's that's pretty that's a hard sell that, that's a hard sell on something because you know a lot of people hate loot boxes and uh, I, th this has a little intrigue to it bless loves loot boxes then you have a picture of me saying what you don't like loot boxes gives you the right for not liking loot boxes all right so we got some glow on that to make it kind of pop and then I think I might add like a little inner shadow to it you can't really tell to it but it just makes it a little bit more moodier in that text and right there yeah I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory like a little bit you know I think uh, the one thing I will do is come down here and let's add some contrast to the background okay that's real moody that's real moody and now we just add it to the loot box add some contrast to the loot box and boom there you go now the the one thing that you always get always make your thumbnails realizing this is your screen this is about 1080p or 720p right now no one's gonna view your thumbnail this size whatsoever they're gonna be viewing it this size whether it's on their iPhone iPad Android uh, TV whatsoever it's always teeny tiny about this size so if you can read it, if you can see it, and it looks clickable, boom, there you go. There it is, Bless Loves Loot Boxes. All right, let's start fresh on this one. Now, let's see, something that could cause a lot of controversy. I don't have anything already pulled up or anything, but that seems to be a clickable, nice little link. Now you know the thing, you go over here, you auto-select everything. This image, it, oh my god, this, this is just meant to happen. Look how easy this thing just auto-selected. So we're going to copy, we're going to paste, we got to make sure it takes up all of that screen. Alright, so you know the deal. We're going to put a little glow behind them. Maybe just a faint glow right there. Now we're going to have to clean up these edges on them because, well, we took a really low-res image and we're trying to make a 1080p, man. We aren't Pixar, so we got to make sure that... Our artwork looks good you gotta take all that pixelated edge off we need a moody background so I'm just gonna go in and use a plain black background right right look at this oh my god and see this is even getting moodier right you gotta make people wonder so we're gonna go with the comic sans font and we're gonna make sure that our text isn't 400 Deej quits Bungie no, 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 you gotta, you gotta put the bungo on it, right? And then, and then to make it clickbait, you put a question mark on it, but, but you gotta make it a little bit more clickbait, so you just put that font, you make it almost non-seeable, yeah, that's pretty good, and then, and then you're gonna make it pop up here like this, right? Deej quits bungo, now we're just gonna move Deej's face over here, just the 
bit to the right, maybe just to make it a little bit more moody. We'll put Deej's face over top of the uh, of the text right there. Boom. Look at that. Oh my god. If that isn't... Look at that. You're, you're scrolling through your feed and that doesn't get your attention. What what else does? Um, these, this is how you clickbait, baby. This is how you get them sweet views. So here is my YouTube channel and you'll, you'll notice that there's some some hits and misses with my clickbait. So up here, yeah, my Monster Hunter World video. Now, nothing does as good as my good old Destiny videos, but when you're trying to branch out, <laughs> you got to you got to reach for the stars. So over here, I tried to make it pop with, you know, uh, a character holding a weapon I was talking about. Over here, I went very simple just using Vegeta for Sea of Thieves. I kind of used the the like the loot box kind of thing that I did there. Is it for you? I kind of went my, watch JoJo on that one. But down here, let's go to my most popular vids. Again, a lot of these are are <laughs> Destiny. But who would ever thought my number one video would have been freaking Legend of Zelda. Now, any time I accidentally make clickbait, I never truly meant for it to be clickbait. So maybe too powerful. In my mind, did not seem like it was clickbaity because I'm thinking, hey, I'm double uploading Destiny, here's some Legend of Zelda, and it was me grabbing the Master Sword, and I was trying to think of a clever title, and boom, there you go. And I, I promise you, if you go in to read any of those comments, it's 90% hate. So if you, if you like comments where you're, you're calling me PewDiePie ripoff, that is definitely where to go. Over here we have I Quit Destiny. Now this is a video I'm like super freaking proud of because I was working a job I didn't really enjoy. I got a mean comment that basically accused me of being everything that's wrong with Destiny. And so I had a friend, Andrew JRT, read it dramatically. I put some Pokemon fight music behind it, made a skit where I call the CEO of Bungie and it was all a skit. I was really proud of it. So. That video was supposed to be a skit, but uh, I, I got subtweeted a lot by some Destiny people at the time. But also, look at that thumbnail. There, there's lots of layers of mood to it, man. And then over here, you kind of see where it transitions into my more recent uh, weapons, where it's just a simple just weapon on top of the background. And I was trying to have things kind of pop with uh, borders, but I don't know if that really works at all. I mean, apparently it did over here. And then one of my fourth most <laughs> viewed videos, for some reason, is Star Wars VR for Battlefront 1. I know it had VR. It did. It came. It came when Rogue One came out, and the game was kind of dead. And but the VR experiences was really cool. And that was a really simple one. I took a screenshot of me uh, of my face cam. It was honest reaction. Um, a bit dramatized looking, but I swear to God, it's real. And then I just googled X-wing and then put a blur effect on the background of it. And well, that's that. My favorite is uh, Zombie on the Goal because I tried to, my hardest to try to make it look like uh, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers, like the Zombie Ghoul joins the fight. And well, that's where that came from. If you guys want to see me make more clickbait or do more things where I'm trying to help creators out, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to create this and do more series like this one right here. So if you do like it, please let me know. And Elgato, thank you so much for supporting creators, helping creators. Big shout out to you, and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Until next time, guys, Kawabunga! Also, I'm sorry my voice is gone. Voice, when are you ever gonna come back to me?